Welcome back to the Schlocky Horror Picture Show and Revolt of the Zombies. You might be asking yourself how anyone could possibly make an unbearably boring movie about zombies in Cambodia amongst the majestic ruins of Angkor Wat. It's an awfully tall order, but the Halperins found a way. Here's how. This time the zombies are merely a figure of speech, and the film doesn't really take place in Cambodia so much as in front of obviously enlarged picture postcards. I haven't felt so cheated since I shoplifted U2's last album. On the upside, the movie is only 65 minutes long, the downside being each of those minutes is jam-packed with painfully long seconds. I suppose it is mildly interesting that the character set up to be the hero turns out to be the villain instead, but apart from that, the only interesting thing about Revolt of the Zombies is the way it manages to fail in just about every possible respect. The movie displays none of the Halperin's customary care to conceal the limitations of their budget. The photographer might have at least made sure the backdrop photos of Angkor Wat were lined up right. The casting department could have hired more than two extras to man the Austrian trench during the battle sequence, and somebody probably should have checked there were sound effects in all the places that required them. They didn't. The characters are so lifeless to begin with that it's hard to tell who's a zombie and who isn't. And what's worse, every single person in this movie is a complete arsehole. It's alright for Dean Jagger to be a wimp who overcompensates his way gradually to the dark side. After all, he is the bad guy. But after the cavalier way in which his so-called friends and colleagues jerk him around at every opportunity, I ended up spending most of the film in his corner anyway. Trying to establish himself as an independent third world strongman, well, that's okay. What really annoys me is his continued insistence on pursuing Claire. Dean, I shouted at the screen. Dean, kick that scheming scum queen into the mud and go and find yourself some nice Fay Ray character to obsess over instead. The skank isn't worth it, my boy. He just won't listen to me, so I suggest you yell at him instead, as we now return to the walking horror that is Revolt of the Listless.